I love ballpoint pens. Um, they're dirt cheap. They're really effective for practicing pen and ink techniques. And you can find them almost everywhere. At any given point, I'm sure you can find um, a ballpoint pen within arm's reach. Now, when shading with ballpoint pens, one of the most underused properties it's its ability to create really light marks. It's perhaps one of the only ink drawing instruments that allows us to do this, and yet we don't take enough advantage of it. So in this video, I'm gonna share some simple tips and how you can take advantage of the ability to make really light marks with a ballpoint pen, and how you can gradually develop your drawings from light to dark. One of the main advantages we get by being able to draw really light lines with a ballpoint pen is that we can actually lightly work through composition and design issues. So we can work out proportions, uh, poses, gestures, all these without leaving deep marks on the paper. And then later on, we can actually correct them or just draw over it. And all the sketch lines, all the composition lines, all the lines that we actually made in the beginning of the drawing will eventually just vanish underneath as we work over it. Now, another cool advantage we have with a ballpoint pen is that it allows you to lightly draw cross contour lines. Now, for pen and ink drawing, cross contour lines, actually shading in general, cross contour lines are very important. They can help to uh, serve as like guidelines or reminders of the curvature and volume of forms you're shading. And this is something, especially in ink drawing, where line is the primary tool for conveying uh, uh, structure and shape and volume and so on. So being able to lightly kind of like uh, lay down cross contour lines to kind of guide your shading is very effective. Now this last tip is one of my favorites. And this is because the ballpoint pen, because of uh, the ability to draw really light lines, is that it allows you the ability to gradually expand your value range. So in the beginning, you can pretty much use a really narrow range. Say for example, just use a gray and the white of the paper. So you only start with two values as you explore whatever the subject is, you know, the value pattern of the subject. And then gradually you can expand that by adding more values by simply pressing down on the pen. So you're able to study the value light and shadow relationship and then gradually as you become more comfortable in your your understanding the shape and the planes and the the, the, uh, the curvature of the form then gradually you can start deepening your values and lightening your values and you expand in both ways and then you create this full value range that is really visually pleasing to look at so you can Start your shading very lightly just to feel things out before you commit to any serious rendering by just lightly mapping out the overall value pattern and then just gradually deepen your values as the drawing progresses or as you become more comfortable and more familiar with the subject. Because in the beginning, when you're drawing, you're really just feeling things out and you're kind of, you know, uh, kind of like making notations or observations to yourself. We say, okay, here is shadow, here is light. And gradually as the drawing develops, you can start really committing to where you think, you know, the half shadows are, the deep shadows are, the cast shadows and so on. And as you do this, the flexibility of the ballpoint pen really allows you to just explore this in a gradual way, which is really cool for understanding, you know, the drawing process and how a drawing gradually develops. Okay, guys, so I hope you found this video useful or informative or inspiring in some way. And uh, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe now so you can see more videos like this. And also so you won't miss any new uploads coming up. And as usual, thanks for watching. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video.